Hello everybody, and this is Argon Matrix, back again, and I know I said I would have 40 rupees in the next episode, but hey, it's not going to take too long to get one more rupee, is it? No, I don't think so. And besides, we can actually get five more rupees really quickly just by going up here, crossing this bridge, crossing this bridge too, and there's just a blue rupee sitting up here for you. What do you say? Why are you up here? Hee hee hee, you came all the way up here? You're a real man. Look, isn't the view pr isn't this view pretty? Change your viewpoint with yeah 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 blah 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 blah. I don't want to listen to your tutorial on how to change my camera angles. Uh, sure, let's go swimming. Uh, it's a nice day to go swimming, even though it's like mid fe or end of February actually, almost springtime. So, anyways, now that you have 40 rupees, like well, you hopefully have 40 rupees like I do. You want to go over here? Hi, Argon. Look this way. Look over here with Z and talk to me with A. You can do that, but she's just going to give you a tutorial on how to L target. Basically, just press L. That's about it. Uh, so in here, this is the Kokiri shop. Welcome to the tropical island paradise of Isle Delfino. No, that's a different game. We'll do that later. Uh, talk to the owner. Sure. We sell shields, but not swords. Good to know. Yeah, he sells the Deku shield for 40 rupees. You better buy it, because you actually need to buy it to complete the game because you can't get to the first dungeon without it. Uh, you can't get through the first dungeon without it either. Uh, yeah. Would you like to buy something else? No, because I can get everything else that's here in the next dungeon for free. So why would I do that? Anyways, you also have to equip the shield, just for that ad another added bit of real real the real realism there. And now that you've equipped the sword and shield, then you might want to head over here. Well, you will want to head over here. And just talk to this guy, and he says, If you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? That! Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief, good gravy. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? Hey, don't talk to me like that. You're the wimp, you noob. Look, I, like, I'm a full inch taller than you. Well, not really. But whatever. Uh, how did I get to be? How'd you get to be the favorite of Sarai in the Great Digger Tree, huh? Oh. Yeah, he wants Sarai for himself. He wants that all to himself, all night long. Oh yeah. So down this passageway here, you're gonna come upon, come upon, come upon, upon the first enemies of the game. These are Deku scrubs, not Deku scrub or something. Hey, look at that! We got a stick. That's a nice. But what are we gonna do is a stick. Well, you'd be surprised what you can do with a stick. If you just use a bit of creativity, then... Yeah. Uh, I think they're called Deku Babas, actually, not Deku Scrubs. And here, now, we come across a cron. Why do I keep saying, like, in place of other letters? Anyways, here's the big tree, the great Deku tree. Man, he is great. Oh, man, just look at how he towers over everything in his path. I'm not in his path because he doesn't have a path because he can't move like those trees that are in some tropical rainforest. Yeah, apparently there are trees that can actually move. I, I've never heard of that until like a few weeks ago or something. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, verily thou hast felt it. Verily? That's such an that's such an underused word in real life and for good reason. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. What about my power? Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yeah, sure. If you say no, then he'll just be like, well, go train yourself on, with your sword on some enemies, like the Deku Babas back there. Or train on your fellow Kuhiris, because that's always fun, isn't it? And then come back once you've mustered enough courage. So anyways, yeah, he opens his big mouth. Like, look at, look at how big his mouth is. I mean, imagine what you could do if he had a mouth that big. But he wants you to walk inside, so that he can munch and... Chump, chunt, chunt, what am I trying to say? Crunch and munch you all up. Like they say in that Pokemon game. I forget where it is, but it's awesome. So this is inside the date tree, and there's a bunch of spider webs everywhere. It's kind of nasty in here. It's just, like, wh why is there a ladder in here even? Did someone come in here and, like, build a ladder? Seriously, did someone, like, someone have to come in here and build this entire, entire, this entire place? Because there's doors and everything, too. Stop killing me! Oh my gosh, I just got knocked down to one heart by that stupid Deku Baba. But at least I got a nut. That's always great. Um, by the way, uh, you can equip items here. 
to your C left, C down, and C right, or if you're playing on the GameCube control like I am, Y, Z, and X. So now we have that. Uh, is there any grass around? Yes, there is grass around here that I can cut, and I get a heart out of it. Because apparently, hearts like to grow out of the, gr the ground. Just random human hearts, or I don't even know what kind of hearts they are. Phone! Sorry about that, everyone. I was just interrupted by a rude phone call from my sister. She just wanted to... Well, I don't think that's any business what she wanted. Oh, yeah. yeah so you can use the Deku Nuts to freeze those guys. It's kind of cool. I like it. And they drop five every time, so that's really nice. So, anyways, Navi's going to tell you here how to climb a wall. Basically, you just have to go up to it and press forward on the control stick. And that will cause you to auto-climb. You climb really fast in this game, too. It's like... Well, faster than you in most Zelda games, anyways. <coughs> Twilight Princess. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, come on, give me a heart. I need, I need one more heart to be at full health. Come on, give me a break here. So here's a big chest. It's a really big chest, just like the one we got our sword in. That's the same epic camera point as and music as the other one did too. And it is the dungeon map. You will get one of these in every dungeon that you come across in the game. It'll basically just tell you which rooms you visited to, which ones you haven't, how many floors there are, and... No, actually, it doesn't tell you where the boss of the dungeon is. That's what another item in this dungeon does. And if you played any of these games whatsoever, you know that that's the compass. Uh, so anyways, man, I don't even know what time I'm about to do in this video now, because... Because of that stupid phone call, I'm, I think I'll just go, like, a minute more than... the. 10 minute or 11 minute time mark just because I think that'll be good or maybe I should just stick with the time limit it'll be safe anyways yeah Navi just told us how to open a door like we can figure that out ourselves and this is why you need the Deku shield in this dungeon it's just to make those guys suck on their own nuts that they shoot out at you oh wow, well, well forgive me master if you if I give you a clue will you let me go when you jump off a high cliff blah 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 yeah you hold four on the control stick and you won't take damage when you hit the ground unless the cliff is really, really high. That's basically all he's telling you. Okay, yeah. Why is he shaking his head back and forth or his entire self back and forth? Like, I guess. Like, what's he trying to do? He's like dancing. Is like, is that like a twitch or something? I don't know. Yeah, he left his heart. That's nice. He's like, oh, you're not at full health yet, so here's a heart for you. Uh, oh yeah, that was such a hard puzzle. I can't believe I actually figured that out by myself. Okay, if you climb up here, you can open this chest. Well, open this chest, don't walk past it, you dummy. And you can pick up a recovery heart. Sorry, I was just making sure that my microphone was right in the right place. That's why I kind of paused there for a second. I think it's in the right place, I can't really tell, but whatever. Anyways, here's another big chest. Oh my gosh, three in like two videos? What is this madness? Uh, isn't that from the number before Christmas? Hey, anyways, you got a fairy slingshot. Does that mean we can shoot Navi at things now? That would be so cool. Like, get, like just unlimited ammo with Navi. Uh, but no, alas, we get to shoot seeds instead of Navi. Even though it's called the fairy slingshot, it's just because you're a fairy boy from the forest. Ooh. I don't know what that was about. So I'm gonna, I just like to equip the slingshot to Y myself. And I'll just set the Deku 6X now. So anyways, Navi's over there. She turned green for some reason. For some reason. Yeah, yeah for some reason. Uh, she can turn pl plenty of different colors. Blue, red, green, yellow. Uh, but basically she's just telling you that you can shoot at this ladder to make it fall. And with that, I think I'm just going to end off the episode here. And I'll just leave you... I'll just stand at the bottom of this ladder now. And we'll go up it in the next episode. So, uh, that's about it. In the next episode, maybe we'll finish this dungeon. Who knows? So, this is Archon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.